Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nelly Power here. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a modded outfit using the two console glitch. So if you guys do happen to enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. If you're new to my channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe with the bell icon turned on so you guys never miss a future post when I do happen to upload on the channel. Today's shout out goes to these people on screen. Now, if you guys would like a shout out in my next video, go ahead and comment hashtag NellyPower in the comment section down below. Now, with that being said, let's get straight into it. To begin with this glitch, make your way to the clothing store. Now, you are going to need to put on the same components as me in the video. So once you put all the components on your outfit, make sure to save this outfit in outfit slot number 20. This is going to be our merging slot. Next, you are going to make a second outfit. This outfit is going to be your console one outfit. So copy the same components as I do in the video. And then once you're finished, save this outfit as C1. Now for a C2 outfit, you're going to go to the front desk in the clothing store and you're going to scroll to racing suit and you're going to select the white racing suit. Now save this outfit as C2 and this is going to be our console 2 outfit. Now we are ready to do the two console method. The first step is to equip the C1 outfit. Next, you're going to put on the Israel parachute bag and equip an accessory to get the orange saving circle on the bottom right of your screen. Now go on to netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500. Change M bits per second to K bits per second and set the bandwidth to 5. On Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, head into story mode first, then go into online. When you go into online, switch your outfit to console 2 and put on the Israel parachute bag. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the D pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now on console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. When you get into story mode, start up an invite only session. And when you spawn in the session, your outfit should look like this. Now you'll be ready to start up Crooked Cop. In Crooked Cop, you are going to set the clothing type to player owned and you're going to invite one other person and you're going to start the mission. Now in the mission, you're going to switch your outfit one to the left and one to the right. The logo should transfer onto your outfit. Now you are going to need to save this outfit. When the mission starts, you're going to open up the interaction menu and put on an earpiece. Now you're going to back out of the interaction menu, pull up your phone and quit the job. When you spawn in the session, make your way to any clothing store and save this outfit in a new slot and you're going to save this outfit as C to keep. You are going to need to use this outfit at the very end to merge everything together. Go to the clothing store. Now at the front desk, you're going to go to racing suit. Now select the racing suit with the logos you want to transfer onto your outfit. Once you have selected a racing suit, save this outfit as C1. This is going to be your console 1 outfit. Now you are going to need to put on the same components as me in the video. So once you have put all the components on your outfit, you're going to save this outfit in outfit slot number 20. This is going to be your merge slot. Your console 2 outfit is going to be your C2 keep from the last part. So now we're ready to do the 2 console method. So the first step is to select the C1 outfit and put on the Israel parachute bag and equip an accessory to get the orange saving circle. Now go on to netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500, change M bits per second to K bits per second and set the bandwidth to 5. On Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, head into story mode first then go into online. When you go into online, 
switch your outfit to console 2 and put on the Israel parachute bag. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now on console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. When you get into story mode, start up an invite only session. And when you spawn in the session, your outfit should look like this. Now you'll be ready to start up Crooked Cop. In Crooked Cop, you are going to set the clothing type to player owned. And you're going to invite one other person and you're going to start the mission. Now in the mission, you're going to switch your outfit, one to the left and one to the right. The logo should transfer onto your outfit. Now you are going to need to save this outfit. When the mission starts, you're going to open up the interaction menu and put on an earpiece. Now you're going to back out of the interaction menu, pull up your phone and quit the job. When you spawn in the session, make your way to any clothing store and save your outfit. Save this outfit over C1. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to transfer the shoes and racing gloves onto your outfit. Make your way to the clothing store. Now you're going to put on the same components as me in the video. Once you put all the components on your outfit, save this outfit as C1. This is going to be your console 1 outfit. Now for your C2 outfit, you're going to copy the same components as me in the video. Once all the components are on the outfit, save the outfit. Now in your merch slot, you're going to save the biker suit you want to transfer the racing boots and racing gloves from. Now you are ready to do the two console method. The first step is to select the C1 outfit. Now you are going to equip a classic parachute bag. Now go on to netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500, change M bits per second to K bits per second and set the bandwidth to 5. On Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, Head into story mode first, then go into online. When you go into online, switch your outfit to console 2. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now on console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. When you get to story mode, start up an invite only session. Your outfit should look like this. Now you're ready to start up Crooked Cop. In Crooked Cop, you're going to set the clothing type to player owned. Now you're going to invite one other person and start the mission. When you get inside Crooked Cop, you're going to go one to the left and one to the right. Your outfit should now have the racing gloves and racing boots on it. To save this outfit, you're going to equip an earpiece and then pull up your phone and quit the job through your phone. When you spawn in free mode, go to any clothing store and save your outfit. First, you are going to need to flip the color of your joggers. If you don't already know how to flip the color of your joggers, I'll have a link down in the description. Now save this outfit in outfit slot number 20. This is going to be our merging slot. Now you're going to create the C2 outfit. Put on the same components as me in the video. Once all the components are on the outfit, save this outfit as C2. This is going to be your console 2 outfit. Your C1 outfit is your outfit you previously merged in the last part. 
Select the C1 outfit and put on the Israel parachute bag. Now wait for the orange loading circle. Now go on to Netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500, change Mbits per second to Kbits per second, and set the bandwidth to 5. On Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, head into story mode first, then go into online. When you go into online, switch your outfit to console 2, and put on the Israel parachute bag. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to Netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now in console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. When you spot in story mode, start up an invite only session. When you load into GTA Online, your outfit should look like this. Now you are ready to start up Cricket Cop. Set the clothing type to player own, invite one other person, and then start the mission. When you get inside the mission, go one to the left and one to the right. The jogger should be merged onto your outfit. Now when the mission starts, open up the interaction menu, put on an earpiece, then close the interaction menu, open up the phone, and leave the job through your phone. When you spawn in free mode, make your way to any clothing store and save your outfit. Make your way to your apartment, now you are going to equip a hazmat suit with a gas mask on it. You're going to do the telescope glitch by running up to the telescope and hitting right on the d-pad. Once you are standing in front of the telescope, switch your outfit to C1. Now walk away from the telescope and go to your wardrobe and save your outfit to C1. Now exit your apartment and make your way to the nearest ammunition. Now you are going to start up the mission called Titan of a Job. When you spawn in the job, your body armor should be removed from your outfit. Go inside ammunition and save your outfit in outfit slot number 20. After you save the outfit in your merch slot, select the outfit with the belt you want to transfer onto this outfit. Now pull up the phone and quit the job. When you spawn in free mode, you are ready to start up Crooked Cop. Set the clothing type to play your own, invite one other person, and then start the mission. When you get into the mission, you're going to go one to the left. The cop belt should be transferred onto your outfit. When the mission starts, open up the interaction menu, equip an earpiece, then close the interaction menu, pull up your phone, and quit the job. When you spawn in free mode, make your way to any clothing store and save this outfit over C1. To flip the color body armor, select the component of the color body armor you want and save this as an outfit in C1. Your C2 outfit is the colored body armor you're trying to flip. Select the C1 outfit and equip the Israel parachute bag. Now go on to Netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500, change Mbits per second to Kbits per second, and set the bandwidth to 5. On Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, head into story mode first, then go into online. When you go into online, switch your outfit to console 2 and put on the Israel parachute bag. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to Netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now in console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. Now when you spawn in story mode, start up an invite only session. When you get into online, your outfit should look like this. Now save your outfit in outfit slot number 20. This is going to be your merge slot. Now for your C2 outfit, you're going to select the outfit you want to transfer the body armor onto and save this in C2. Now for your C1 outfit to transfer the body armor onto any outfit, you are going to need to equip the heavy body armor. Once you have the component on your outfit, save the outfit as C1. Now equip the Israel parachute bag and wait for the orange loading circle. Now go on to Netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500, change Mbits per second to Kbits per second, and set the bandwidth to 5. 
on Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, head into story mode first, then go into online. When you go into online, switch your outfit to console 2 and put on the Israel parachute bag. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now on console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. When you get into story mode, start up an invite only session. When you spawn in the session, your outfit should look like this. Now you should be ready to start up Crooked Cop. In Crooked Cop, you're going to set the clothing type to player own, invite one other person, and then start the mission. In the mission, you're going to go one to the left and one to the right. The body armor should transfer onto your outfit. When the mission starts, open up the interaction menu, put on an earpiece, Close the interaction menu, pull up the phone, and quit the job. When you spawn in free mode, save your outfit in the merge slot, which is outfit slot number 20. Select the outfit called C2 Key. This is the very first outfit we made at the very beginning of the glitch. Now you're going to put on the same components as me in the video. Once you have all the components on your outfit, you're going to save this outfit in C2. Now for your C1 outfit, this is the outfit with the joggers, racing gloves, and racing boots. Now select the C1 outfit and equip the Israel parachute bag. Equip the heavy body armor. Now go on to netcut and lag the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 7500, change mbits per second to kbits per second, and set the bandwidth to 5. On Xbox, wait 5 minutes before logging into console 2. When you log into console 2, head into story mode first, then go into online. When you go into online, switch your outfit to console 2 and put on the Israel parachute bag. Wait for the orange loading circle on the bottom right of your screen, then push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get into story mode, quit the game. Now go back to netcut and reconnect the connection on console 1. Set incoming to 0 and double click on the Wi-Fi icon. Now on console 1, remove the parachute off the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle and then go into story mode. When you get to story mode, start up an invite only session. When you spawn online, your outfit should look like this. Now you'll be ready to start up Crooked Cop. In Crooked Cop, you're going to set the clothing type to player own and you're going to invite one other person and then start the mission. Now you're going to go one to the left and one to the right. Now the top and the body armor should be transferred onto the outfit. When the mission starts, open up the interaction menu and equip an earpiece. Now close the interaction menu and pull up the phone and quit the job. When you spawn in free mode, go to any clothing store and save your outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a modded outfit using the 2 console method. If you did, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. And as always, it's been your boy, Nightly Power, peace out. Feel my pain When it comes to me and you are not the same This is so far from a game What you saying?